Good morning. Okay, so today the uh, the show is very close, so we don't have to be on the bus until 3.15, I think it was, which is very late, because it's again, it's real close. Yesterday we left at one, it was like a three hour drive. So I've been taking my free time to work on the announcement for this. At the, I don't know, not even sure how to pronounce it, Pilger Raw Brewing in Pottsville, PA, which is a, a brewery in which Tony Deppin is a part part owner so I've been working on announcements for that and I've also taken some of the time to make some match graphics so I've been doing those on Photoshop it takes a bit of time it's just exclusive announcements Veda Scott will be there to everyone's surprise Tony Deppin and Mookie Summers because he just tweeted out his promo pic essentially which makes things very easy but yeah it's gonna be wild it'll be streaming on my twitch twitch.tv slash speedball bailey uh kind of a friday night speedball type of deal you know what i mean you know what i mean that's always a good time yeah so that's thursday june 15th and we'll be working on it making more announcements and i don't know what the matches are gonna be but it's gonna be something ridiculous <laughs> Good times. Well, that's me. Doing a little signing here for the next few minutes. And then I wrestle. So I'm just finishing up my celebratory post victory ice cream. I won, I beat Titan. Let's go have a look at some of the clips that were so well, graciously posted. If you don't know Titan, he's from CMLL. He's an amazing luchador. And we went hard. We did all the crazy shit. This might have been my favorite match so far. Veda said uh, it was between this one and my match with Hiromu but it's been all bangers so far man please watch them if you haven't Still eating my ice cream. So yeah, I absolutely love wrestling luchadors and I think in Japan especially luchadors or people with you know a lucha libre bag background really stand out which is always fantastic. Definitely super fun match with Titan. I would love to yeah. wrestle him again. Uh, and now before we go, I asked you guys if you had any questions for me uh about you know this trip or anything in general and uh i got a couple in the uh in the comments of the last video oh yeah uh axel asked uh how does it feel to be in japan alone uh and you know talk to the other guys in the tournament so uh there's a little bit of hanging out you know there's some kayfabe that prevents me from 
filming a, a couple of what happens that you know would be interesting otherwise but uh, I I love being alone I you know I'm pretty introvert introverted for someone who uh, likes to you know spend that much time in public and you know doing things like professional wrestling for a large audiences but I, I enjoy being alone I enjoy going to the restaurant alone I enjoy eating alone I enjoy walking around in a, especially in a new city even if it's alone I I always think it's a it's fantastic um, we had another question down here hold on uh, where was it maybe I can't find it oh yeah uh, who's the funniest guy in the locker room uh, Loki Dan Maloney is absolutely hilarious uh, <laughs> you wouldn't know it by the way he wrestles but he, he is an absolutely hilarious dude that is if you mean in the New Japan locker room right now my answer would be him but if you mean in all locker rooms altogether the answer is obviously Dirty Dango everything Dirty Dango does is funny and I can't explain it in impact he's just consistently absolutely hilarious and I can't explain why how many things that are not even like meant to be like you know comical and it just gets me laughing but yeah thank you all so much for watching that was day five tomorrow I will be wrestling Doki uh, so please check that out if you can live on New Japan World thank you all so much for liking commenting and subscribing let me know if you have any other questions for me just drop those in the comments thank you so much